Asset mode activated. It's a squeaky sound. Yeah. It's, it's not like, a clicking. It's no, a, it's, yeah, it's like it's something is squeaking. Oh yeah, that is not how you want to be starting a passage. Good morning and welcome to Ponta Delgada, where we are about to go on our next adventure. And this time we're going to go to Madeira before going down to the Canaries, down to Cape Verde and cross the Atlantic again. And before we go to Madeira, we are going to do something really, really fun, something long do, something that we've been waiting for since uh, April. Hey, Ryan. Hi. What are we doing today? We're going to take what's in that blue bag and put it on our boat. Blue bag question is what's in the blue bag? I think it's pretty obvious what's in the bag. I think that we need to just unpack the bag. A turtle? A ham sandwich? Ham sandwich. When we crossed the Atlantic from Bonaire to come here, we did that with our 15 years old jib. She's a great sail, just a little old, and now it's time to replace her. Really excited, Ryan. You look very excited this morning. Let's this do ham this. Sandwich out of the bag. Can you explain to me why it is a ham sandwich? I don't know. I just came up with something. Drop it just a little bit. You want me to drop it a little bit? Yeah. Like... Okay. Ready? Yeah. Who's excited? Look at Ryan's facial expression. <laughs> That's one crisp sail. Very crisp. How do you like it? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's got the leech line, but it goes all the way from the left to the leech. Thank you, Precision Sails. What happened? I dropped the shackle in the water. The shackle bolt. Oh no. And it's the one that attaches the furler. It just literally slipped out of my hand. Boat life, guys. It doesn't happen to us so often, though you know, dropping things in the water, considered that we live on the water. How did it go? So this brown is all the sacrificial sun covering that's on it. So when it's rolled up, it's just this that's showing and not the Dacron, which protects the sail. And then here we have these are marked reef points, so we know where to reef it, and there's some up there. Then we have some reinforced Dacron points here, which just stiffens it up into, into heavily used areas. And then we have the telltales up there, those little strings to tell us how well we're trimmed. And then, importantly, at the top, there's room between the stopper. <laughs> There's room between the stopper and the top of the sail for the to stretch a bit, so that's important. And just like that, we have a new sail. Thanks for seeking sails. Oh, hi there. Are you looking at me? Yes, I look awfully tired. I'm reading a splicing book and I have much Dyneema and tools out. This is what I've managed to do, my people. I've built a pretty cool soft shackle that I think is correct. I just need to trim this down. Why am I doing this, you ask? Well, you see, we got this new spinnaker and for it, we bought a top-down furler and that's gonna require a bit of rigging work. So let me show you what I'm doing right now. To do that, let's put the sunnies on and head outside. The top-down furler, is gonna go on this furler here, which will connect to an anti-torsion line that will go to the top. We need to rig the sail using some Dyneema to the bottom and to the top along with the anti-torsion line. And then we also need to make a continuous line. So that's my job right now. I don't pretend to think that I am an expert splicer, but 
I feel like this is one of those skills that eventually it's not really required at any point in your sailing career, but it would be good to know certain things, so I'm willing to take a chance. The top-down furler we have is a Harkin reflex, and one of the things that you have to do is in the reflex is install this block. And apparently it's a mistake a lot of people make is they don't put this in the splice. So I remember to do that. We're gonna put it on right away. Just leave it there. And that way we know what's in. Okay guys, good morning. I still don't really know what I'm doing with this top down further, but there's no wind this morning, so I thought it was a good opportunity. The bottom part, just like we did the top here, and I've left a whole bunch of extra torsion cable, and we've just tied the sail, and so now we're gonna lift this bad boy and just check the length. I'm in a little bit of trouble because I wanted to get this done fast while the wind is light, but Sophie's still kind of sleeping, so I feel a little bit bad. Hi Sophie, did I get you up at the wrong time? Yes, I, I mean, did. it's 9.30 now, but it was very early when we started. It was early when we started? It was 7 a.m. Sorry. I really appreciate your help though, honey. I can't do this without you. It's my boat. Okay, go slow. Okay, 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 okay. Little. Okay, we got her up. Oh, it's beautiful. It looks, it's way better than the first time. That was way better than the yeah, first that time. Looks like, that looks like it was coming in out Good morning, today is departure day. We have been here for two months now. So it's gonna be nice getting out a little bit shake our sails out. Our next destination was supposed to be Madeira. I guess that on some level it still is Madeira, but the weather in the Northern Atlantic has uh, really thrown off our sailing conditions. So for now we don't have a great weather window to sail straight from here to Madeira. So we're gonna start by going to Santa Maria, which is a small island south of Sao Miguel. And then we're gonna sail to Porto Santo, which is part of Madeira, but it's a small island north of the main island. So before we take off, we're gonna take care of a few errands, starting with uh, this package. What's in this package, Ryan? Some old Raymarine kit, a plotter and an AIS. A few weeks ago, we became Raymarine ambassadors, which is amazing. And they sent us a bunch of new kits. And uh, what we like to do when we receive a product for free is to pay forward and give the equipment that we replaced the new kit with to uh, somebody who also has a sailing project. And so uh, this truck plotter and the AIS is going to a boat in France. Yay! Starbucks gets nothing on me. Yeah. There you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Watch out. It's hot. Are you coming? I am. Say hi. Say hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube. <laughs> nice to meet you. So what time are you gonna leave? Uh, like seven ish. I don't actually, I wouldn't, I don't need a lady, you leave. Bye guys! Bye! -bye. Bye, -bye. See you in the island? Yes!
Alright, it is uh, 7 p.m. and the time for us to go is approaching. Tonight is going to be an overnight passage and when we wake up tomorrow morning, we should be in Santa Maria where we will be spending a little bit of time on anchor. Tonight look good. We're expecting around 10 knots of wind, which means that we're potentially going to be able to sail all night, which is great. Okay, passage mode activated. And first, let's go find some more sailing appropriate attire. This is how we're looking now. And this is the look for tonight. We have uh, the boots, the pants, and uh, the uh, hoodie, which uh, I give myself two minutes to take out once we're out the harbor. And today is the first time that we use our new electronics. Look at that. Bam. Okay, Ryan, do you want to tell us a little bit about the passage? It's 54 miles to the south. We're going overnight. Hopefully that's all there is to say. <laughs> I need the bow line off there. I want to come back here. Are we ready for some sailing action? Let's do it. Alright, goodbye Ponta Delgada. It was fun spending time here. We liked you. There's a clicking sound out here. I don't like it. Idle. Do you still hear it? A little bit. Come down and see if you can hear it. I can't figure out what it's coming from. What do you hear exactly? You'll hear it. It goes tick 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 tick. I do hear that, but I'm not sure that it comes from. Um... I do hear it. It's a squeaky sound. Yeah. It's, it's not like, a clicking. It's no. It's, yeah. It's like it's, something is squeaking. Yeah, and the only thing I can think of is the bell. Yeah, I thought about that too, but the bell looks pretty okay. So the engine is making this really weird sound and we can't figure out what it is or where it comes from. So we're taking turns downstairs to look at the engine and try to understand what could cause the sound. It's very weird. And it's never a good feeling to uh, start a passage with something that feels a little off because you never really know the degree of off. Yeah. I'm gonna try something. What are you gonna try? I'm gonna see. I'm just gonna take a look at what the impeller looks like. Ooh. Oh yeah, that is not how you want to be starting a passage. I don't think anything itself is wrong with the engine. You, yeah, I think you're right. The sound, the squeaky sound, sounded like it could be the impeller. How's that guy looking? Yeah, he looks pretty fine. Okay. Yeah, he looks okay. How's that now? Uh, Revs are at 18. Okay, I don't hear that noise anymore, do you? I don't hear it either. Alright, I don't know what we did. Let me try to push the revs. No, it's gone. I, I have no squeaky. No, I don't hear any squeaky. No. I hate when I never, when I don't find out the why, you know, like when it magically It's a bit weird, yeah. So I hate that. All right, well, off. All right, well, we'll just monitor the engine, okay? Yeah. And as soon as we can get sailing, we'll get sailing. Good 
morning. There was no wind last night. Seven knots max. Um, we can't really sail with that. So we've been on the engine all night and we're just arriving. Good morning. Just did a morning celebration. In the bathroom? Mm -hmm. How was your night, Ryan? I actually slept last night. I don't think you did, unfortunately. But I actually got a couple hours of sleep, which was nice. No, I did not. But I'm, I'm pretty tired still. Yeah, I was a bit disappointed when you woke me up. Just get with the binoculars away. All right, 7 a.m. docking operation. Let's do it. So I was told, I don't know if it's true, that this is the only non-volcanic Azorean island and that the beaches here are supposed to be very nice. This is what I was told. I have not confirmed it independently with Wikipedia. This is so tiny! Oh, and it's low tide. in the morning. So it is 9 a.m. We're both a little bit tired, but it's not too bad. Ryan is currently checking in at the marina and our friend Brian is just running up the island, so I am making pancakes for everybody. Yum, 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 yum. All right, well, bon appetit. Enjoy my labor of love. It's great. What's your verdict, Ryan? These are really good pancakes, that's my verdict. And, uh, on a scale from zero to 10, where are they? They're a nine. Oh, wow, mm -hmm. that's good. Huh? Hello! Bon dis donc Brian, t'es un petit peu à la bourre quand même là Ils sont vraiment bons, ils sont vraiment bons. Je les ai pas vendus. Non, c'est bon. C'est 20 euros. 20 euros pour une bouteille. Tu as juste payé 5 euros. Oh, Because I thought it in Bermuda. Oh. 